addition using the standard algorithm. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is like a shortcut strategy in math. Once you understand a math concept, you can use an algorithm to save time. We know we can use base 10 blocks to add numbers, like 125 plus 212. First, I'll make the first number with five ones, two tens, and a hundred. Then I'll add the second number to it. I need two more ones, one more 10, and two more hundreds. I can look at the blocks to see that my answer is 337. Now let's look at that using the standard algorithm to add. Let's use the same addition problem, 125 plus 212 except we'll want to rewrite it so that the numbers are lined up on top of each other like this. First, we're gonna add up the ones place. So five plus two is seven. Then we'll add up the tens place. Two plus one is three. And finally, we'll add the hundreds together. One plus two is three. Be careful when lining up the numbers. You have to keep the place values together. Take a look at this problem, 3,413 plus 522. The thousands in the top number are on top of the hundreds in the bottom number. This will not work. We have to keep all of the ones lined up, the tens lined up, the hundreds lined up. Keep the places together. That's better. Now we can add them together, adding the 1s, 3 plus 2 is 5, add the 10s, 1 plus 2 is 3, add the 100s, I have 400s in the top number and 500s in the bottom, and that's 900s, and then I have 3,000 plus, I don't have any thousands in my bottom number, so it's still just 3,000, 3,935. Let's try a trickier one. This time we're using the addition algorithm to add 238 plus 135. So we know we need to start in the ones place. Let's add our ones together. Eight plus five is 13. Hmm. I can't put a 13 in the ones place. I need to regroup this. 13 is really 10 and three. So I can put three in the ones place, those are ones, but 10, that needs to go in the tens place. 10 ones is actually just one 10. So I can put a one above the tens place, adding another group of 10 over there. Now I'll add all the tens together. Now I have one 10, three tens, and another three tens, which is seven tens. And finally, I'll add the hundreds. Two plus one is three. We can use the addition algorithm to solve problems with larger numbers. We just repeat the same steps over and over. Let's take a look at this problem. 43,849 plus 15,334. We'll start in the ones place. 9 plus 4 is 13. And we know we can't put a 13 in the ones place. So we put down three ones and carry or regroup that group of 10 to be with the other 10s. Now let's add all our 10s together. 1 10 plus 4 10s plus 3 10s is 8 10s. Let's add the hundreds. 8 plus 3, that's 11. But I can't put an 11 in the hundreds place. I'll put 100 and carry the other 10 hundreds over. 10 hundreds is 1,000. So now I've added one more to my thousands. 1,000 plus 3,000 plus 5,000 is 9,000. And then I have four groups of 10,000 plus one group of 10,000 or five. 59,183 is the answer to this addition problem. Let's review. Line up the numbers on top of each other, keeping the place values together. Add each digit together, always starting in the ones place. 
if you have a two digit answer, you have to regroup it, carrying the digit on the left over to the next place value. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Check out the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.